at what's trending online. And thank you so much for all the comments you're sending in. Uh, Brian O'Koff uh, joins us now with a quick uh, roundup of what's going on online. Brian. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. All right, let's take a look at what's trending in the world of social media and uh, entertainment. And my, f my first story, or uh, my top story, is the story of United Eight Wives. Yes, United Eight Wives. This is a case of uh, the grandfather of uh, a musician turned uh, radio presenter known as Didi, saying that his grandfather actually had eight wives, and he fails to understand why men in today's society claim that one wife is very difficult and uh, some sort of there's a trouble in handling. He says that he, uh, his grandfather's eight wives used to sit together, talk together, eat together, and at no single time did he ever call Ampatanisha. Um, Ampatanisha um, is a form of a reconciliation between the warring parties or other warring uh, sections. And he said that his wives were the best and they loved each other. And uh, Mr. Ajengo, that is the grandfather of, the, of uh, Gidi, died some time in March, leaving behind uh, five wives whom he say are still close together. Wow. One wife is already difficult. <laughs> Uh, how would you know, Brian? <laughs> and I only not answer that. <laughs> All right, uh, let us move to the second one. And Raila Leo Messi, even as uh, Wanjambuzi Stadium in Kongoya continues to uh, engage, uh, I receive a lot of uh, people coming to see it and also coming to play on the field. There is one particular video which Kenyans cannot just have in, uh, enough of it, and that is Odinga's dribbling skills. This came after Barcelona was clobbered, or rather was defeated by Juventus three goals to nil. And people say, if only Barcelona had uh, sought Real Odinga's dribbling skills, they would have beaten Juventus. <laughs> Let us take a look at that video. You can see uh, the, right or, uh, the former right honorable Prime Minister kicking and dribbling. Quite impressive, actually. Yes, for his age, actually, that is very impressive. And let us move on to the next story of uh, Kenyan singer Avril Nyambura last year shared publicly her HIV status results. And a section of Kenyans were not so much impressed by that particular revelation by Avril because some termed a term that Avril used, she said that these are my results and it's all clean. And a section of Kenyans took to social media to say, uh, you are a bit insensitive to those people living with HIV when you use a tag like all clean because of your HIV status. And with others also saying, saying that what should we care about? It is your HIV results and it is solely yours. It should be private and confidential. So don't bring us on board in this. And recently Avril has come out to say that uh, the June uh, 2016 incident really, she was cyber bullied for it and she uh, retreated to a cocoon and now can speak about it and says, okay, even if you are uh, critiquing me, there is that particular essence of you getting to know your HIV status, it's good to go out there and just get to know your HIV status. In her own words, she says it's cool and says she sees no harm in what she did sometime back in June. And this one I know Anne will touch you and you'll have something to say about it. This is a top American rapper known as 50 Cent uh, uh, last weekend or rather on Saturday while performing in Baltimore. Punched a woman. Let us take a look at that video. All right, as you can see there, 50 Cent is descending on a woman, and there are very many theories which have arisen out of that particular video, with some claiming that the woman wanted to steal 50 Cent's 30 million Kenyan shillings, that's, ar that's around 300,000 US dollars, watch. But again, a 50 Cent later, after realizing that he did a mistake, called the woman on stage and even performed alongside that particular woman. I don't know what you have to say about this video. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I need to say anything. I, I hope the look on my face is statement enough. It's shocking. I mean, these this, uh, performers, they have bodyguards and all of that on stage. Uh, certainly, he didn't have to resort to that. I know. It's a bit sad. More so seeing a male rapper descending on a woman, regardless of what the woman did. And still in America, American singer Chris Brown and American rapper known as Lil Wayne have reportedly been named in a federal investigation for the alleged connection 
to an accused drug dealer known as Harrison Garcia. Harrison Garcia is a music producer, top music producer in the U.S. And he says that uh, he's taken to social media in oftentimes just to claim that he supplies um, rapper Lil Wayne with a lot of narcotics. And it will be remembered sometime back in 2013 and also 2016, rapper Lil Wayne suffered seizure as a result of excessive indulgence in drugs. And on the other hand, um, Chris Brown's bodyguards in, an, in a past exclusive interview claimed that every day before Chris Brown sleeps they have to feel his pulse because he's so much addicted to drugs to an extent it could even ruin his life. So they just have to feel that is our person still uh, alive. It's very sad to see our top artists who do so well in uh, their respective arts uh, plunging into drugs which end up messing and ruining their talent and, ev and eventually their careers. And finally, this is a very interesting video of uh, a surprising climbing kid or a climber kid. And this uh, video has since gone viral and has been shared widely, especially on what WhatsApp platforms. And it shows us uh, a strong baby who has caused us a lot of star online <laughs> after a clip of him clambering over two stair gates went viral. Oh and my word. the device that he climbed over was designed to keep him inside his bedroom. And the age of the baby, 21 months old, what? that's around one year, eight, one, one year, eight months old. Oh and my lord. The mother I, can't, said, I can't even watch this. <laughs> look at that, look at that, Anne. Oh I know you're holding goodness. your breath. I'm holding my breath. I have two little ones. Imagine them <gasps> doing that. Look, look at that. that. Oh my goodness. This, this for me, by the way, is traumatizing. I don't even want to take a look and, at this. Oh my goodness. And like a hero. Just look at him. Like a hero. He lands <laughs> down. Like a king. Look at him. What? Yes. Now that is what you... Uh, uh, probably when you're here and maybe your baby is doing that. I, I'm I, heading I, home I now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Let right. anybody be getting up to such theatrics. Thank you very much. That is what we had from uh, the Strengths and Social Media segment. For more of such kind of stories, log on to www.edaily.co.ke. We turned one year old, edaily.co.ke. Thank birthday. you for your support. Thank you, Anne. And we appreciate it. Back to you, Anne. Thanks very much, Brian, of course, for us. And that winds up Citizen Extra, uh, the English edition this morning. I am Anki Guta. Stay with us. Citizen Extra continues in Swahili. Goodbye for now.